Hey team, welcome to a new series, a new career mode with, as you probably have seen, Leeds United. When I picked Leeds, I thought of a team that, okay, I want them to be in the Premier League and I want them to come back to old, old winning days where they were big in Premier League and did win some stuff. I was actually thinking of maybe doing Nottingham Forest, but when I think about Premier League in the 90s, I, I remember Leeds and they had some very, very good players. So um, yeah, some of them English, some of them not English, but in this career mode, we are going full English, 100% English. So when it comes to the team, the first season, that would be kind of the transition season where we are trying to sell off as many as possible of the players that are not English and hopefully that would go well because I'm kind of excited how that whole transfer process will be. We need to get in new players, sell, uh, and so uh, there's probably going to be a lot of transfers and I can't wait. I think this is going to be great. So much fun and I can't wait to do this. So for this career mode, I also have taken the transfer um, increase, but that is because we are going to change out the team pretty much. and leads only have 5.5 million transfers but we'll see how much we'll have to deal with in this first episode i'm probably not gonna play any games but we'll have to see how the um, the friend list goes and everything like that so probably just gonna get to the first game of the championship so let's go and start this new journey I can't freaking wait. Oh, one more thing I forgot to say. If we get offered the England job, I'm going to take it. I'm going to record the England, England games and then take that as an own video kind of. So um, yeah, the, the way to England's glory is kind of also coming into this, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that fits in. So yeah, let's start the Leeds career mode. Let's get on to Ellen Road. So here we are, we are ready to start the season and we have some friendlies of course. I want to take the one in Norway because uh, I know there is a bit of Norwegian fans that support Leeds and a lot of familiar team for my sake. So yeah, that's why I'm picking this plus it gets us the most money so I really like, really like that. So before we start looking at some players and going through the mail, I have one thing I want to announce and that is I changed the stadium to a stadium that kind of looks like Allen Road and I changed the name to Allen Road. So we are actually going to play on Allen Road. So that is pretty damn cool in my opinion. Hopefully EA will add some more stadiums in the next FIFA, but we'll have to see about that. When it comes to the board, they want us to come in a 32 round stage of one of the cups. I think that is very manageable, even though we are focusing on going up the league, of course. The club also wants me to get a new center defensive mid. We are going to do a lot of transfers, of course, so we're not just going to get that. I'll have to see what tactic I am going to play as well, so we have to see that in a little bit. When it comes to the league objective, the club wants us to fight for promotion and that's exactly what we are going to do. We are going to try to get into the Premier League. I don't care if we come first or second or third and we win the playoff, we are going to the Premier League next season. Now we have some training here, going to look at training Cook, of course, he is one of the guys that really, really stands out on this league. Team. Of course, he is young and very, very talented, wanted by a lot of Premier League clubs. So I want to keep him in the team and train him as much as possible in this first season, of course, and see how good he really becomes. He will be one of the players that are going to play all the time for us. So let's see how he does with the drills. Hopefully, come on, give us something good here. Oh, that was horrible. All F and C and a D. Okay, well. That is what you start. Now let's look at some of the players. So this is the team that we're going with. Of course, as you can see, there are a lot of players that are not English right now. So we are going to try to change out as many as possible, as fast as possible. So, but this is the way we are going to play. Of course, some good players here that are going to stay. We almost got a hundred percent full 
uh, English good midfield, and that is very nice in my opinion. Um, only Bridcut and Dallas that I actually want to go and get rid of. Otherwise, it's English all the way. So this is actually some of the players that I'm looking for to sell right now because they are not players that are of English or origin. So um, sadly we have to sell them, but I think it's the right choice to try to get rid of as many as possible right now. Uh, there are some players that we can't sell right away, but they will probably get sold in the winter transfer, of course, if we can get them out, but uh, we'll have to see about that. So now I have to go and get out some new players I want. I need a goalkeeper, I need a center back, I need left wing and uh, yeah, striker as well. So a lot of things actually. So uh, I'll try to go out and find some that are possible for us to get. So this is my shortlist guide. We have some strikers that we really, really are looking for. I'm thinking about Adam Armstrong of course he at, is at loan at Coventry till the January window is open so we'll try to see if we can get him then because he becomes a very very good talent he looks very good and if you've seen him how he plays now he really is amazing I really think that if Newcastle maybe loan him out to championship club next season and the season after that then he will be a player that Newcastle actually can use if they stay in the Premier League of course we don't know yet this guy Solanke is strangely enough just 17 years old and is looks like he's been in Chelsea before when you look at the picture and uh, but he actually plays for Vitesse right now so I'm trying to bring him back to England I think he could become a good English player so um, Go to scout him and looking forward to see if he can be anything. Of course, Patrick Bamford also is a, a very good young talent player that we can get to maybe loan him to having this season and maybe buy him later. This guy, of course, a young Spurs talent, Onohoma, also really, really want him. He is loan listed right now, but I'm trying to get him because he becomes uh, 82 plus rated player and that is just perfect for us same with this guy as well a young talented player James Madison come to him playing so good this season so of course they will get some players that are kind of hyped up but uh, this guy I think can become a very good a potential around 80 so pretty damn good and this guy Gray I'm so jealous of um, of Leicester for getting him because I really really wanted in my club it looks so good for Birmingham and I pacey good dribbling and uh, yeah I would love to see him in the Premier League now we can with Leicester sadly really wanted him in, in Newcastle when it comes to Newcastle Alando Aarons of course pacey good a little bit injured too much maybe but we'll see if we can get him on a permanent deal straight away that would be amazing his contract goes out in just 12 months so that is very good for us De La Ali, of course a very very good player he is just being a boss at Tottenham right now and uh, yeah how can you not not try to get him that he is just amazing that is a bit strange in FIFA because I actually can get him probably next season for pretty damn cheap and that would be amazing this guy, Brendan Galloway, has really started to show that he <clears throat> might take the level in the Premier League, so why not can we try to buy him? He's a left back, but he can also play a center back. Callum Chambers becomes one of the greatest right back if you are going English, like we are, so he is something I have in mind, but maybe for next season, but we'll have to see. Goalkeeper, I actually just looked at one, and that's Jordan Pickford, because he is young, he's talented, he can become a good keeper for us, but we have to see if we can get him right now. Now, to the most important stuff, we really need some scouts. So this is the scouts that we can go for. Of course, Ted Wheeler is the one we're going with. Almost two million, that's pretty expensive, but still got a good judgment, so that is important in my opinion. So I want to hire him, yes, thank you. And we are going to set up a scouting network, of course, in England, only England 
and we want English players and go be for nine months. So hopefully in this period, we can get some young players that will become very, very good talents. I will show you once again, how I do the scouting in FIFA, because then we can get the most exciting most the best type of players of course so let's start this setup and see how this goes so after a lot of stuff now we are going to simulate our <laughs> advance for the first time we get some news back and they want kind of 2.8 million for onoa maybe we can get it for a bit cheaper we go this might be enough there try to acquire for some of the players on the short list Two million for Gray. Oh my God, he is one of my favorite players, actually. So he will be signed. If we get him for around two million, that is a great deal. Seems like a lot of player here wants 2.2 around two million. So we'll see if they buy it for a little bit less. Brendan Galloway just 1.6. That is good. That is very good for us. So let's see if we can get for a bit cheaper, maybe around there. 1.250. That is good, that's a good deal. They want two million for this guy as well. We're gonna try with 1.2, see if they accept that. We're getting a good English team right now. And look at that guys, they are actually accepting a one year loan deal for Della Ali. That really helps up in the midfield. Of course, takes a lot of wages, but we can manage that a little bit up and down. Of course, we are going to take that deal easy. And so long can we get the bid accepted, so let's see, he wants, uh, yeah, pretty okay. Yeah, potato player, because he will play a little bit. So first friendly here, and we are going to simulate it, of course. Now that we have Della Ali, he is going to play the camp position. We put out uh, Mowat out on the left side and took Bridcut, of course, down in the center defensive mid there. So. I'll show the team after a while, it's no, it's no big, it's just a pre-season friendly air. so let's see, let's skip it, and draw, nil-nil, well, that's okay, that's perfectly okay. Ever do accept the bid on 2.25, that is good for us, he is going to be, he's going to be important actually, because he is going to play center back if we get him, I think, so, uh, Newcastle also accept for Alando Arons. We don't have that much money for it, but four years he is going to be a crucial player. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And he wants a lot less than Alando Arons. Then I'm thinking of not buying uh, buying Arons then because he's a bit cheaper and his wages are a bit lower as well. Madison is also accepted, so this is great guys. This is going really good. Four years and rotation as well. Now more play and training for Mr. Cooker. He will do much greater now, hopefully. Yes, a lot better. B A and DNF. Pretty pretty okay actually. One of the players that we were going to try to sell and his bid are bit low if we can get like that from Blackburn that would be great second friendly here let's just go right through here against Rosenborg let's see come on Rosenborg is a good team here so yeah 2-1 there but that's okay no problem there Atlanta Irons and Gray are probably going to join the club we are not going to take Irons when I think about it I think he will become too expensive right now and we're going with Gray this time. Since he was a bit cheaper and a lot cheaper in wages as well, so that is important for me. So, welcome to the club, Gray. First signing, very, very nice there. First real signing since we had Ali. Galloway is accepting as well. That is very nice, very, very nice. Welcome to the club, second signing here. And um, Solanke, ooh. But just it's getting tight, but we got both players. That is good. That is very good. So the last match of the group stages here. Hopefully we can win this. Of course, some new players here. So please, please, no injuries. Please, no injuries. We win 3-1. Holy crap, that is good. Gray, Murphy, this is good. 3-1. And we do continue from the group stage. Very good here. 
and Cook is getting more training here. Come on, third time we train in this season. That is good. A hey, oh, this is nice. Very, very good. A lot of good results there. Getting close to that 70 mark. That is good. We do get a little a bit of amount from the tra the the cup we are in. That's very good. And Madison is ready to sign, but we are going to stall. We need to stall it since we need the goalkeeper more right now. And there we have it. Liam Cooper is sold. Then we have a lot more money to work with right now. That is very good for us. So that means also that we can sign Jordan Pickford from Sunderland here. Good. And that means all our money are used kind of. So welcome to the club. Let's see. Can we? No, we can't right now. We cannot sign James Madison. Sadly, so we have to take and stall that for a little bit longer. But let's see here. Another semi-final here. Let's go and simulate this. Come on, hopefully we can win this again. That would be nice. Win this game. Ah, and we're out. 1-0 loss over Molda, sadly, but uh, it's okay. It's just friendly, so it doesn't really matter. And we do get a pretty good bid here for the Anton Antonuscini. I'm not sure how you say it, but yeah, we, if we can get 1.1 for him, that would be so good. Then we had a lot of money. And as you can see, we almost got 1 million for getting that far in the friendly cup. That is pretty damn nice. And that also means that we can get this guy, Mr. James Madison. A lot of talent in that player. Welcome to the club. We did do some changes there. Very nice for us. The good part about Madison, he can also play as a striker. So if we need him as a striker, that then we can use him. Perfect. That is very, very nice for us. And we get a new bid for Mirko. I'm just going to call him that because I butchered that uh, last name. They want 1 million and that is good. That is very good for us. He also has a big wage deal. So uh, nice for us. We are accepting that. Also more training for Mr. Cook. Let's see. And there we have him. He is now 70 rated. Perfect. That is very good already. Already one up after one episode. That is very good. So when you look at the team right now, we just need one more player to have a 100% English team already. That is just amazing. I really, really like that. And if you look at the team, okay, some players are around 70, but it's okay. I think we can still fight for uh, promotion with this team. Now we just need a new center back. Bamba is very good. He is very, very good. He is a bit old, of course, 30 years old. No problem from Ivory Coast, but we need a new center back. But um, I'm not sure who I'm going to buy. I don't have a lot of money as well. As you can, guys can see, we just have 1.3 million so we need to sell some more players to really get someone that is worth buying right now and even more training here it's a bit of a long stretch from the season starts until uh, we start right now and cook does pretty damn good b and d's on on the most of it and we get a bit for duraka i think we can get a little bit more here get his value at least that will be good getting even more money there and that is very nice hopefully they expect accept that and there we have it Chris Dawson is sold we got some money for that and we have a bid for Casper Sloth I'm going to ask for value and a little bit more let's see that should be good enough from Birmingham they got a lot of money from Gray I think but uh, let's see also now we have the first squad report when it comes to the players, you can't see that uh, the rating or overall and potential but because my face is over here and uh, I'm just going to go through and tell you what they have. The first guy here, we're not going to sign him because he has a potential from 58 to 80 after the first, after just one month scouting and that's not good enough. We need a bit more better than this guy as well, he, his, he has 56 to 76 not good enough but this guy Jordan Bor Borfi Borf Borfi yeah okay he has a potential from 67 to 91 so we are going to continue signing him or watching him till next month and we'll see how much he dropped or got 
away from that potential. This second guy as well, a bit more and better potential here from 72 to 94. The overall right now doesn't really matter. So both the two guys here are going to get continued looked at. And let's see next month if we are going to sign them or not. And that is basically how I do the scouting. To, to just, you have to see who has the best potential after one or two months. After the third month, there are big possibility of your best players are getting snapped up by other clubs. So after two months, I usually see it and then you have it for a month or two and you see if the potential goes down below 85. If he does that, then he's out of the club, no problem. We want 85 potential rating as a minimum, of course. We don't want them to be coming like 78 and stuff like that. We need good English players. So it seems like they just can give us five or 500,000 now. I'm just gonna accept that because we need the money kind of. Now we are getting a little bit more money, that's nice. And even more training, holy crap, I felt that we are just training this cook so much. But it's good, he needs it. His long shots and uh, finishing needs some work here. Even though he's playing as a CDM. Almost becoming a uh, 71 rated now. Almost two in one episode. That is amazing. And there we have it. Kasper Slov is sold there, and we got a bit of money for that. That's pretty nice. Same with Duraka. That is very good as well. So that currently means that we have almost 2.5 million to work with. Of course, we can change it up a little bit because we don't really need that much money when it comes to. Uh, the contract so around 3 million and then 50, around 15,000 a week that is pretty damn good then we can actually then we actually can sign a pretty good center back so um, but you guys can decide what center back that we can look at of course need to be English but do that for me just tell me in the comment section below what English center back that can we buy or loan maybe we can we can do all the Holy crap, we can give a pretty damn good contract there with 50,000 a week, but probably not too many that we can get for 50,000 a week, to be honest. But around 15, yeah, 3 million, that's pretty damn good to, my, to be my opinion there. But now we are at the start of the season. The first match is going to be against Sheffield Wednesday, but sadly guys, that will be in the next episode. We did a lot of transfers in this first episode we have now a full okay almost full english side here and i'm very very pleased with some of the plays that we bought as you guys can see there are around 70 71 and byram actually became a 71 right now that is pretty damn sweet and hopefully we can uh, continue out the good work here and um, keep on getting a bit more english players that would really really be awesome maybe get a new right back as well. We have to see how many players we do sell at this first transfer window, but hopefully you liked this episode. If you did, I'm so stoked of doing this career mode with only English players. That is, uh, yeah, it's something new, something with a twist in my opinion. Hopefully you liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. As always, I'm Povic and I'm out.